Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about how to create a stored procedure with input and output parameters. So there are two types of stored procedures. One is a stored procedure with input parameter and the other one is stored procedure with input and output parameters. So how to create with output and input parameters in a single uh, procedure. So before going to write a stored procedure, let me give you a, a brief background on the table. So if you see here, I have a table with the name of employee, which contains around like a five, six columns. So let me run the table. So if you see that I have a, a, a around 18 rows of uh, records so in the employee table. If you see that ID employee, first name, last name, salary, uh, joining date, uh, designation and ID department. So these are the list of columns in my table. Now I am planning to write a stored procedure with input and output parameters. Okay, so let me start a procedure. So as all of you know that the uh, syntax to write a procedure is create procedure, procedure name, create procedure, procedure name. So I am going to write a procedure, get employee, get EMP name by ID and means it means that it is taking the ID as an input and it is giving the employee name as an output. So let me write it at the rate ID or I can write a EMP ID integer comma. So I am going to take output as a EMP name where care of. So I'm taking as a 50. So based on the size 50 and it is output parameter output as begin and at the end I will be keeping as end. So here I will be writing the statements. So what is the statement I will be writing here? So I will be writing a select statement select. Okay. So at the rate EMP name equal to and you see if you see here employee name, but if you see the table structure, I have a first name and last name separately. Now I need to do the concatenation to get the full employee name. So how to do the concatenation? So I can use a plus symbol to do the concatenation. So I'm going to write first name. First, let me put a star so that, uh, sorry, from table name so that I'll get the column names easily. So rather than writing full spelling, yeah, equal to now first name plus. So I am planning to put a space in between first name and last name plus last name okay so if you see this select at the rate employee name equal to first name plus i am keeping a space between these plus and i am putting yeah see to add the space not double quotes i need to add a single quote yes right right so this is how i need to add a space okay from employee now let me take the two single line now this is my procedure so let me create a procedure so let it me let me create the procedure yeah now procedure has been created successfully now how to run this procedure ideally we will run the procedure with the help of the exec keyword similarly we need to run the exec keyword but before writing the exec execute command i need to declare a parameter i need to declare a variable to capture the output which is coming from a procedure so let me create a procedure let me sorry let me create a, a variable so declare at the rate emp name where care of 50 i am keeping the same size almost sorry 50 and exec and i am going to call the procedure name procedure name and it is expecting one input parameter see my sql server is intelligent and it is showing what is the value it is expecting so employee id is i am going to pass either one or two whatever it is comma so m output it is output parameter now i need to specify this at the rate employee name and i need to specify out so if i don't specify the out let me show you what will happen if i don't specify the out and i'm going to print that print at the rate emp name now see if when you have a output parameters you need to execute in this manner Otherwise, if you run only like this, it won't work. You need to declare a variable and you need to pass the declared variable to the procedure. Then you can print it if you want to see the output. 
Now let me run this. If I run this, yeah, now you can see this. So for the particular employee ID one, the name of the, oh, sorry. So here I need to add a where condition, here where ID employee equal to, here I didn't pass the where condition, ID employee equal to, here employee ID at the rate, employee ID. Now let me alter this procedure so that I'll get the respective records. Now, now let me run this. If I run this, now this altered procedure, which is filtering based on the ID employee, but at earlier, so there is no where condition. That's the reason why I got different value. Now let me run this execute command. If I run this execute command, so I'll be getting the respect to value John space W. So if you pass, if you pass a different employee ID, then you will be getting a different name. So this is how we need to pass the, this is how we need to pass the uh, input and output parameters. For example, so if you don't specify this output keyword, what will happen? Let me remove this output keyword. And if you run this, what will happen is nothing. So nothing has been displayed here. So it won't give you the error, but you won't get any output. It means that, so it is going employee name as a means my stored position is expecting one parameter, one input parameter and one output parameter. Still it is going into the processor, but it is not coming out. That value is not coming out from the processor. And that is the reason why it is not getting displayed. So that is the reason why. So if while specifying the output parameters, so while declaring, you need to specify with a keyword of output means so at the rate employee name, data type of the uh, employee name, and you need to specify the output. So here there for this ID employee, employee ID, I didn't specify anything because by default is input parameter for the stored procedure. And if you want output parameter, you need to specify explicitly. So that is the reason I specified explicitly output here. In this scenario, if you want, if while running, while executing the procedure, you need to specify the output keyword. If you don't specify the output keyword, so what will happen? You don't get any output because so whatever the value, let us say, so employee name is declared with a var care of 50 means nothing is been assigned to this. Okay. So that is the reason why means currently as of empty and empty is coming and printing here. That is the reason here. So if you put like one more print statement, if we put up one more print statement, test the statement. So if you run like this, then you will get one empty line. Yeah, you will get one empty line and next to this, you will be getting text. Why? Because so employee name is empty. Why? Because you didn't specify output parameter. Let me specify out here and let me run my procedure. If you see this, if you see this, yeah, you will be getting k to y and k to y is nothing but employee name here. Okay. And test is the second line. So because so if you don't specify output parameter here out keyword means so it is not it is this employee name is going inside the processor but it is not coming out with a correct value it is coming it's not coming out with a value it is coming as empty only and that is the empty which is getting displayed so that is the reason why when you specify output parameters to the procedure so while declaring you need to specify as output but while executing you need to specify as a out so that is how we declare a uh, we declare a output uh, parameters in the procedures. Now there is a let me write a one more procedure. So in that scenario, so what I need to do is I need to identify so the list of employees. So based on the designation, let me go to this select query. Now I want to identify so the list of employees who are belongs to the support uh, designation or who are belongs to the tester, like how many employees belongs to this particular department. So let me create a procedure. So create a procedure create a procedure uh, get uh, emp count I'm, I'm just keeping that get emp count so here i'm going to write as a uh, designation so based on the designation i'm going to get it where care of uh, 50 sorry 50 comma at the rate um, count int output okay here as so you'll be writing that select from employee n. Okay, here I'll be writing select at the rate count equal to count of either star from employee where designation designation equal to at the rate designation. 
now let me execute let me create this procedure in the similar way where designation equal to let me what is this let me write it down. create a procedure at the rate designation DESIG so let me write where id and equal to okay yeah there is no begin actually so let me write begin okay so let me write here okay let me execute this and now let me execute uh, let me create execute the same procedure with a different uh, as a designation as a input here I'm, I'm pa i'll pause here so int i need to declare a int variable here so here it is an integer let me make it as a int and here I'll be make it as a count. So here I'll make it as a count. And what is the value I need to display here is I need to pass is so let me pass some developer or support. Let me pass support here. So where is this? Yeah, here I'll be passing support. If you want to pass like a string uh, as an input, then you need to specify like this. Okay, let me run this. So, in out and so error converting. Let me create as a year one. Let me alter. Okay, let me run the okay. Okay, sorry. So, this is this one actually. Okay, so let me run this. So now I'll be getting this list of employees, how many belongs to this particular uh, support department. So this is how like uh, we are going to create a procedure with a input and output parameters. So that's it. Thank you for watching.